Hey guys, my name is Mary from Sharing Kindergarten, and I'm here to talk to you guys a little bit about digital learning. Let me give you a quick background. I have been teaching kindergarten for 15 years, and I do have an instructional technology degree because I love tech. But we know that things got changed in a few weeks ago and using distance learning is now more important than ever. I think there's been tons of changes navigating e-learning. I think that even the most tech savvy teachers in the classroom had to figure out how to translate using technology in their classroom and all the kids interacting together to everybody being in separate locations and what that means for utilizing technology. And we're trying to figure out how to get our classroom from being a building into being this virtual classroom. That's tough because part of me initially wants to say no, like this does not define education. Education is not gonna change because of this one moment that, that we're not loving. Um, because I think this was a curveball thrown at us, but then again, another part of me said, how can this not change education, um, even for the better? I think a lot of parents and families who maybe didn't use technology before are like, okay, now I see the use for it. I don't feel like I've ever been more respected in my role before. I don't think the education system has ever been appreciated this much. And I think when we get back on our feet, we're gonna take this experience and this is gonna make us even better educators. I'm a huge fan of ESGI because my county has used this before all this has happened. So ESGI was always a component in our classroom. And when ESGI first came out with this idea of a second screen, I wasn't really on board with it because I just didn't feel like I needed it in my classroom. What I discovered was the, like the, the thinking in advance of what we could possibly need. Because now um, the biggest component I was stressed about was how I'm gonna assess my kids in a productive way. This second screen option they have is brilliant. And now I can virtually assess my kids when they're at their house and I'm at my house. I think it's been better than what I expected. I think I'm communicating with a greater number of parents than I initially thought. Um, I think the first week we did digital learning, it was a little bit of like bumps in the road. So I tried really hard to communicate with my parents and ask questions so that I could get feedback from them. They told me they wanted it weekly and daily. They also told me that the number one thing my students were paying attention to was the videos I was posting. And they were like, don't stop reading books to my kids. ESGI is really, really great about listening to teachers and trying to give them what they need. So in the fall, we're gonna have some deficits for this group of kindergarten kids that we're pushing on to first grade because right now we're planning on not getting to all of our curriculum. And that sounds super scary, but we're trying to make a list of the things we haven't gotten to. And we can print out those parent reports and send them to the first grade teachers so they know exactly where those kids stopped this school year. If you're so fortunate to get it now through your school or say you got the, um, the free trial, you can set up all of your assessments for the entire year now. So like my school sets it up on grading periods and we have blocks for each grading period. So we know each grading period exactly what we have to cover and what we have to assess. But here's how that's brilliant. Next year when we get our new roster, it's already done. So I don't have to go back and rebuild those again. It starts from there. So when a lot of people are going through binders and resetting, I click a button, I get my new roster, I'm done. So I definitely can hit the ground running with that. Before I knew that I could use this ESGI second screen to assess, I was thinking in my head, what do I have to do to keep these kids moving and motivated and keep them where they need to be? So what I thought I was going to do was I was gonna print out all 22 sounding out word lists onto different index cards and I was gonna do video chats with my kids and I was gonna hold the cards up like old school and then I was gonna take a little checklist and check off which ones they got right or wrong. And that was gonna be hours. And then I wasn't gonna actually be looking at my kids. I was gonna be looking at a flashcard in a data chart. 
I think I would have either not have assessed because that's an astronomical amount of work, or I would have missed on the interaction with my students. Um, so those are the things that in my head I was gonna have to do without that second screen option. And I just feel so fortunate that that's not what I'm doing right now.